What is up T squad? Welcome back to the color me pink channel. Today I have some shocking news for all of my Real Housewives of New Jersey fans. Brace yourself you guys because the RHONJ season 14 reunion has been canceled. Yes, can sold. A reunion hasn't been canceled ever. I don't think in the history of the Real Housewives franchise, but things over there in Jersey is literally spiraling out of control. Now, I was anticipating the season 14 reunion. I know a lot of you guys were. But People Magazine has exclusively revealed that the season 14 will end on an unresolved note for Teresa Giudice, Melissa Gorga, Dolores Cantana, Margaret Joseph, Jennifer Aiden, Danielle Cabral, Rachel Fuda, Jackie Goldschneider, and Jen Fessler. So the Real Housewives of New Jersey is flipping the table on season 14. People can exclusively confirm that for the first time in the history of the East Coast based reality series, there will not be a traditional reunion. A reunion is meant to have resolution and it's clear in the season finale that there is no path forward in that type of setting and inside familiar with the situation tells people. So the network is figuring out a different concept to wrap up the season. It's been a fractured season for RHONJ that saw longstanding rifts only continue to drive co-stars Teresa Dolores, Melissa, Margaret, Jennifer, Danielle, Rachel, Jackie, and Jen Fessler further apart. That's the same divide that caused RHONJ to have split panels at BravoCon over the past two years. At the center of the conflict is the feud between longstanding housewives and sister-in-laws Teresa and Melissa. All season long, the two reportedly did not interact until the explosive finale that was teased in the premiere episode. Margaret is on the outs with Teresa too after alleging at the season 13 reunion that the mother of four's husband Louis called and threatened her son at his place of business. Both Teresa and Louis have denied Margaret's claim but the soiree founder has remained insistent in her desire not to associate with them. Even moving away from friends of the franchise, Jackie and Jen, as they've gotten closer to Teresa. Teresa and Louis, meanwhile, have claimed that Margaret's been speaking with Louis' ex to float negative stories about him on the show, which Margaret has denied. Rachel has had her own issues with Teresa and Louis, also stemming from the reunion, where her husband, John Fuda, claimed the couple had been investigating them through their friend, Bodito, and even contacted John's ex-wife in prison. Teresa and Louie denied those claims, but in the season 14 premiere episode, Teresa repeated accusations about John on the internet from his ex that he was the biggest schmug dealer in Bergen County and that he was into kinky ish involving Schmeck's toys. John laughed off all the claims telling people the damaging lies repeated about me are not rooted in reality. Still the rumors upset Rachel so much that she had a falling out with Jen because she continued to associate with Teresa. Previews this season show that the Fudas come face to face with Teresa and Louie during a future episode in a sit down that ends with John calling Teresa the poster child for mortgage fraud. He says, when I need my money laundered, I'll call ya. As for Jennifer and Danielle, people reported in September that both were suspended from filming for several days after getting into an altercation that a source said started verbally and allegedly became physical. 
at the season 14 finale, they fought again, this time with a glass pitcher thrown during their exchange of insults. Perhaps the only one who has remained on good terms with everyone has been Dolores in footage from the season 14 finale shown during the premiere. She's been, she's seen sitting at a table alone, pondering how things got so bad between everyone. The drama between the Jersey's housewives hasn't just been existing in front of the cameras over the past few months. A scandal has been erupting on social media in which a woman behind a former troll account named Melissa O knows claimed that Teresa and Jennifer asked her and other notable accounts to dig up dirt exposing Melissa, Rachel, John and Margaret's secrets which the two would later bring up on the show in order to manufacture drama. The account has even shared screenshots of alleged direct messages with Teresa and Jennifer that showed the housewives shared screeners to episodes before they aired and allegedly gave gifts and financial compensation to the woman so she would continue her attacks. Jennifer has not addressed the claims, but in an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Teresa denied any involvement. I don't do that, she said. Everyone who knows me, I am so real. Like what you see is what you get. And I don't go digging up people's past. <laughs> okay. Real Housewives fans know that cast divides do not lead to a pleasant viewing experience. In fact, both the Real Housewives of Atlanta and the Real Housewives of Potomac recently underwent major cast reboots due to discord that couldn't be resolved. The only other time when a reunion was canceled in the Real Housewives franchise was in season 13 of the Real Housewives of New York City for season 14. The network rebooted the series with a whole new cast, firing all all the season 13 ladies in the process bravo famously does not comment on casting but a second source tells people that the network has not made any permanent decisions about r-h-o-n-j everything and anything is on the table the insider tells people noting that all options are being discussed and nothing official about the show has been decided the real housewives of new jersey airs sundays at 8 p.m eastern on bravo previous seasons can be streamed on peacock now i don't know about y'all but it seems like the main problem here is Teresa and jennifer so to me that is the common denominator that needs to go Teresa is literally into it with half of the cast margaret melissa her brother john fuda rachel um, Danielle, they're not getting along anymore. The only people that she's cool with is Jennifer Aiden, Jackie, and Jen Fessler, who were both kiss A's. And it's ridiculous. We all know that she does go digging into people's past and uses Jennifer Aiden to be her lap dog and to take the heat. We all know that she was reaching out to Melissa O knows that um Twitter account her and Jennifer um, to do their dirty work. It was also reported here recently that she's gotten in trouble with the network for allegedly trying to ruin Margaret's launch at Walmart and that production and the network had to get involved and tell Teresa to sit down. Teresa is a horrible, despicable person. She really truly is. And I've been saying this for the longest time time she needs to go she cannot continue get to get rewarded for her piss poor behavior the show will go on just fine without her she has had 14 years okay on this show she has gotten all of the money the fame the accolades that she can get out of this franchise it's time to start a new with fresher younger newer faces the show will survive without her. Hell, I will even go as far as to say that Melissa can go as well. Both of them can go. Jennifer Aiden needs to go. I'm liking the new direction of these younger girls coming in. 
keep Rachel, keep Danielle. Dolores can go because she adds nothing to the show. She's a confessional gangster, okay? Um, but I would like to see um Danielle and Rachel's friends come in. Um, I like Margaret. Margaret can stay. Hell, even Jennifer Aiden can stay if you want to keep her in there just for the mess. But Teresa for sure needs to go okay that lady is the devil incarnate also according to collider the real housewives of new jersey season 14 ratings has taken a historic nosedive with the latest episodes of the reality series and the fans are shifting to blame the blame on margaret joseph's calling it the margaret joseph's effect other fans have blamed the divided cast on the ratings, such as the Teresa Melissa feud and the friendship breakdown between Joseph's Gorga and Jackie Goldschneider. Okay, so the divide caused the episode to earn a 0 0.699 million viewers, according to X user, the reality TV guru. The premiere earned 0 0.837 million viewers before dropping to 0 0.740 rate episodes, according to Spoiler TV. It seems like Andy Cohen's statement that the divide on RHONJ worked better than the Real Housewives of Potomac means very little mm. fans also feel like Teresa is moving in a very shady way they don't like her husband like this show needs a reboot it's obvious it needs a reboot I feel like Jersey needs a reboot I feel like um Real Housewives of Orange County can have a shake up too as well in my eyes um, I'm looking forward to the new season of Atlanta. Miami is still good. Salt Lake City is still good. But Jersey, most definitely, like Atlanta, needs a reboot. It needs a refresher. And the fact that, th that we're not only not getting a reunion, but this season, the cast didn't even do a cast trip. That's how divided this cast is. No cast trip, no reunion, Okay which is horrible and unheard of in the housewives franchise so y'all let me know down below in the comment section what do you guys think about this news are you relieved are you excited are you disappointed let's talk about it please make sure to thumbs up this video make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you know when my videos drop i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video bye